I'll be here with a terrain control tutorial today on making realistic floating islands with the terrain control plugin for Minecraft. Okay, if you're not familiar with the terrain control plugin, it's a really useful bucket plugin for Minecraft that lets you decide everything about how your terrain generates. You can make custom biomes, set rarity of objects, different custom trees, custom objects, custom ore rates, everything you want. Anyway, first thing, if you're not familiar with setting up, you might want to check out my earlier tutorials are on my channel, but I've put the link in the description too, and it'll get you set it up and configured for your world. I made a little bit of a server just to start it up, and as you see, I dropped it in here with a couple of the plugins that I might be using, and we'll just run it to generate the necessary files, and let that finish, and then we'll stop it and get right into editing the info for getting them working. I'm going to include my trials and errors just to make it seem so yeah, you can develop it. Instead of just giving you settings, I'm going to show you how to get the settings yourself. So it'll have made a world, and then first thing you want to do is make it so that only one biome generates. We could add more in later, but for now, we only want one. So for that, we just get rid of all the biomes except planes. That means the only biome in the map will be planes. Get rid of all the ice biomes, all your IO, IO biomes, and all your mortar biomes. And then set land to 100. We don't want any oceans right now. And that should be good enough for here. And we'll go back and we'll go into biome configs. And we'll work on our planes biome. So, the most important setting is all the way down here. Looks right here. Here. These two. To say a biome height can. It's essentially. It doesn't make it a flat world. It treats the whole thing as possibility. It doesn't even treat it as terrain, it just treats it as blocks. I'll show you what this does. Here, let's just generate it with this. And I'll show you how it looks. Go in here, delete the two world folders, and we'll run this, and then we'll jump in game and see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, we spawn in the world and everything is just floating. There's no generalization of the world, it just generally randomizes it. This is the top of the world here, that's 256 up there. And as you can see, it's just all randomized. We don't really want this. We want it to be all up there floating. But if this is what the only setting I changed, it would make it all planes and then have it set with no biome height enabled. And this is what you get. So I'll go back and show you how to change it to get floating islands. Okay, back in our config files, we see we've set this to true still, and then we're going to end up with this line. This is the next important line, probably the most important line in the whole config for making the floating islands. This determines the rarity of different blocks forming in different wide levels of the map. Each of these controls a different range of, I don't know, six or seven blocks. And the, if it's the more negative it is, the less chance there is blocks to spawn, and the more positive it is, the higher the chance blocks will spawn there. So we want all the bottom of the map to be a void. So we make that 2,500 there, and we'll copy that a couple more, just for the bottom of the map. We don't want anything to be there. And there, and then let's add one more, and we'll start bringing them up. We'll make the, some of the bottom of the islands. And just sort of, this is what you can play with the most. Whatever works for you is the best here. Um, you can play with these values to get the kind of islands you want. They're very variable. Little changes can do big things. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just you have to play around with them or else it just doesn't work. And then we'll get to 0, 15, 35, 20, couldn't find a comma. one of these negative 200, 200 we'll move two. And we're just moving the islands down a little bit. 50, negative one. Okay, these will be further high island, islands. Again, you can just play with these to see how you want. We'll go back to our files, we'll delete these, and we'll rerun the server and see how it looks in game. Okay, hopping in game, you can see that we have islands generating and they are indeed floating. However, we do have a big ocean underneath. Maybe you want this, maybe you don't. 
So it depends on personal preference. But it also goes all the way down to Bedrock, and we still have Bedrock here. Um, the islands look pretty good on their own. With, I mean, they generate quite well. They look pretty nice. You can see it, we're at a Y value of 100 here. We're pretty low. And they're all covered with plains and animals, but they are floating islands. Also, this looks like we got a river going through here, and we can verify that. To see that, yes, this is a river flowing through here, and that rivers are still at the old biome levels, and they make terrain down there. We'll have to fix that, too. Well, we'll go back to the settings and work on that. Okay, delete our old world skin, and we hop back in the configurations. Reload them when they're asked to reload them. Now, to fix the rivers, we just find the search here for river, and just disable them in the worldconfig.ini. You can converge, if you want the items separated by rivers, you can change the settings in the rivers to make them higher and not generate land. But for now, let's just disable them. We'll go here and we'll also find, what was another problem we had? Um, oh yes, oceans. Water level, we're gonna turn down the world water level to zero. If you want an ocean, you can leave that. Another thing we have to do is, um, bedrock. Disable bedrock. We don't want a bedrock layer, we just want a void. So that will just make us a nice empty void layer underneath the islands. Um, a nice touch you can do, you go. You can change all these settings, all the general generation settings that will have an effect on your islands. Um, but a nice one to do here is turn that one up. These Turn these up. It has a good effect on the smoothing out the edges because a lot of the time it's very very rough edges, but if you change those, it has a tendency to help. Also, you go to here and you go down to, no, oh yes, we can turn this world height bits. This is another option you can do. It'll make, use all 256 blocks of the world instead of 128, which will make your islands a lot higher and bigger. I'm gonna set that right now and I'll show you the difference. You can see that we were at a Y value of like 100 for the last world. And we'll see how it works for the new world. Turn these values up. These will help make some overhangs and keep the islands looking realistic. We'll make that a seven. And you can shape these settings however you want, just however it works for you. Make that a four. And we'll save it and see how it looks. All right, back in game, you can see it. It rechanged our settings because since we bumped the world bits up to nine from eight. It also expanded our world custom height control, so I'll show you that. It reset our custom height control back to all zeros, which means it's just random again. We'll have to go change those. I'll fix those to some random values and show you how it looks again. Okay, just setting some more of those values again. Whatever. Mistyped. It doesn't really matter when they're that big. It's just not going to generate anything above pretty much a 1500. will just not generate anything. 2500 just to make sure. And I think here we'll go down to, we'll, we'll make them a bit lower this time. You gotta give, if you want, it depends what you're gonna use this for. If you're gonna have like a survival world out of this, you wanna get players to build, you wanna make them thick enough to have generating ores in them and stuff. But if you're just gonna have like a survive, a creative world to build stuff or other, other stuff, you don't really have to make them as realistic. And just sort of, again, just typing these numbers off my head and they all they work pretty well. I've done this a couple times for various different worlds, including for my server. Just check it out, I got these in the description. Anyway, um, yeah, I've done this a couple times, pretty experienced with it. Here, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make two layers of islands. So we're gonna go back down here, we're gonna go to negative 75. And as you can see, we go negative, that'll bring down the rarities again. Go back up to zero, and this will bring us two layers. Like the top one, just a little one. And we'll go back down to zero. Negative 25, negative 50, and we'll like narrow it off to nothing at sky heights. Okay, as you can see, this is the first aisle layer from here to there about. Then we have a gap in here, and another layer of islands up to there. And I'll show you how that looks in a sec. All right, popping in game, we can see that we indeed have two layers of islands now. Here's the bottom layer, it's totally dark because we got a bunch more islands up there. And underneath all these, we have void and mine shafts. Might wanna shut those off. 
Anyway, head up to the top. Oh, wow. Village. Anyway, yeah, here's the surface. And there's a lot of randomness. You can see these random spikes here. By to fix this, you might want to put a quicker change between the positives of the islands and the negatives of the void above. So don't make the changes gradual. Wow, that's glitchy. Don't make the changes gradual. Um, or you could try lowering the vertical fracturing that we changed in World Conflict at INI. That could also help. Another thing you do is, you, if it, that doesn't fail, you can always turn the volatility manually down to a negative number to just smooth out the whole top of the world. Well, that might have some negative effects we didn't think about. That is one glitchy-ass village. Huh. Anyway, yeah. You might want to change that. Turn villages off or turn mine shafts off and strongholds because those will glitch too. But anyway, yeah, that's the tutorial. If there's anything you need help with, any thing you didn't understand, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to help you out. Um, if you want to see a video on something else, just let me know what it is, and um, I'll consider making a tutorial on it. Just trying to help people out with these tutorials. Hope they, if you were helped with this, let me know with a like. That'd be a nice way of doing it. That's all I want. Not looking for anything else. Not even a like. If you should, yeah, whatever. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. There'll be more to come. See you later.